If you're interested in supporting the channel, there are two things you can do. Flipside Gaming is offering a 10% discount for any order $10 or more if you use the promo code VOIDMAGE on their website. That is VOIDMAGE in all caps. I will also have an affiliate link to TCGplayer.com. If you use that link, any purchase you make on that website will go towards supporting the channel. I appreciate the support. Also, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. How's it going, everyone? This past week has been incredible for Commander, and this is such a big deal because while we've had good commander support in recent sets, it's usually just in the form of good solid legendary creatures that could make terrific commander options because they have abilities that synergize with strategies that already exist in the format. The cool thing about the upcoming set Throne of Aldrain is that they are very clear about their commander support. We've seen this with Arcane Signet, add one mana of any color in your commander's color identity, but it doesn't just end there. We are actually getting a reprint of Command Tower with Throne of Eldraine. Now, I don't know if these are going to be printed in the main set. It could be possible that these are in pre-constructed Brawl products. It would be weird to have these included in the main set, but seeing as regardless it's going to be released as Throne of Eldraine, that's such a big deal. Even though it's intended to support Brawl as a format, you know it's going to inevitably help out the Commander format. Some people who are fans of Brawl are looking forward to this set, but it really doesn't matter because everybody wins here. If you have no intentions of playing Brawl, you're not really losing anything because you can just take anything that's good Brawl support and throw it into a Commander deck and it works exactly the same. I'm not going to go over every card that's been spoiled this week because that would take a long time, just the legendary creatures that I find the most interesting. And you've probably seen Chulane by now, but we've seen some new ones like Sir Conrad the Grim talk about a potential powerhouse in Mono Black. I don't think anybody would have thought that after Kyrick, Son of Yawgmoth, we would see yet another powerful Mono Black legendary creature option. This guy is potentially even more dangerous than Kyrick. And you think about all the ways you could funnel creatures into the graveyard, doesn't matter whether they're dying or if you mill them or even discard, each opponent is going to be dealt a damage. And the activated ability of two mana is kind of redundant, but you could have just left it at that first trigger there, and you still would have had a pretty powerful card, and it's an uncommon, which means that Sir Conrad's going to be quite accessible to the average player. And we're getting more support in three colors for Mardu, which is something we needed desperately. I think the more you start to flesh out these three color groups, the easier it's going to be to play them in Commander. Sir Gwyn, Hero of Ashvale, is 6 mana in Mardu for a 5-5 Legendary Human Knight with Vigilance and Menace. Whenever an equipped creature you control attacks, you draw a card and you lose a life, which is okay. You could have a bunch of knights equipped. The main thing here though is that equipment you control have Equip Knight 0, which means if you have any knight at all, whatever equipment you have, you can just equip it to them for free, which could be quite disgusting because, spoiler alert, there is a ton of knight support in this set, in addition to a lot of the knight support that was in Dominaria. So if you really wanted to play knights but you were afraid that they weren't that strong, I think Sir Gwyn offers you a lot of power because most of the time you just want to equip them anyway, it's going to make whatever deck you want to build a lot quicker. And then there is Alela, Artful provocateur. 4 mana and Esper for a 2-3 legendary fairy warlock with flying death touch and lifelink. Other creatures you control with flying get plus 1 plus 0 and whenever you cast an artifact or an enchantment spell create a 1-1 blue fairy creature token with flying. And this is going to be a theme you also see in Throne of Eldraine is creatures that synergize with artifacts and enchantments. A lot of those are the fairies which I think is pretty cool but this is going to be so powerful in commander because you've already had some kind of flying tribal before. I mean, we do have the new Sarah Planeswalker, which does help you out with your flying creatures. It doesn't even have to be super competitive, just something like a Thopter Spy Network. You're going to be getting another fairy, you're going to be getting Thopters, and they're going to get plus one plus O. Oh. And even something as little as Baleful Strix is going to be so valuable in this kind of deck. If I have to give my honest opinion, she actually looks like the most powerful commander coming out of this set. Just a lot of durability here with good keywords, and I don't think getting those tokens is going to be difficult. And the last commander option I want to talk about is one I'm probably looking forward to the most, Corvold Fey Cursed King. 5 mana and Jund for a 4-4 legendary Dragon Noble with flying and whenever Corvold enters the battlefield or attacks, sacrifice another permanent. Whenever you 
sacrifice a permanent, put a plus one plus one counter on Corvold and draw a card. This is just disgusting to have in Jund, where we've already had a pretty powerful commander in Prosh Sky Raider of Care to enable any kind of sacrificing. It doesn't really matter what you're sacrificing. By letting you draw a card, making Corvold bigger, it's going to help you out with so many different strategies. You could just build a tame Corvold deck, and it's going to allow you to draw so many cards. Commander damage is always an option, and I've already seen competitive EDH decks around Corvold. I'm assuming in a similar manner he's going to be good for food chain like Prosh. But overall though, this set is looking quite flavorful. I've seen some memes already, some people think this is the fifth Shrek movie. Not something I think a lot of people were expecting. But anyway, just wanted to give an update on Throne of Eldraine. You guys have a wonderful day, Void here signing off, see you all next video.